What is going on guys? My name is Adam and I'm back with another video. In today's video, we're gonna go over this super easy music video effect. It's called the slow shutter effect. This effect is gonna be a dope ghost chill type music video effect. I know it'll add a dope stylistic look to your video. I also created a preset pack for this effect. So what you'll get in my pack is 25 dope drag and drop slow shutter presets. I am obviously gonna show you guys how to do this on your own, but if you're interested in what I came up with or don't even wanna do this yourself, I created a pack for you. You can grab it right here. I've also been dropping new products every week so as you can see i have these new polaroid frame packs saber transition pack and this nice split screen film overlay pack also if we head over to premiere pro you can see that i've been dropping more transition packs you can see the 2300 seamless transition pack also i've updated the action preset pack so now it contains 3000 action presets i also updated my glitch pack so now i have my 500 glitch transitions pack and also i've added some crt texture presets and if we move on to page two you can see that we have this new skin retouch presets so these will smooth out your subject skin and also have today's product which is the slow shutter presets and if you've seen in my previous video we have the new music video color pack so let's go ahead and get started and if you're new here welcome to the culture i'm dropping new videos every week go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're interested in videos like this hit that like button for the youtube algorithm it helps me out a lot and leave a comment below on what you guys want to see next and let's go ahead and get into the video dope so now we're in the editing software and i have my clip right here and so what i have is a, a guy performing a music video and one thing to note about this music video effect for the best results you want your video to be kind of dark so as you can see we have a spotlight on our subject but besides that everything else is dark also for the best results you want your subject to be moving a lot so as you can see he's jumping around moving so this is going to make for an awesome effect so let's go ahead and get started with this effect so what we'll start out with is trying to get those dope ghost trail effects so we'll come over here to our effects panel we'll come over here to the search bar and we'll type in echo and what we'll do is we'll go ahead and scroll down until we find the echo which is in the time folder under video effects we'll go ahead and drag that onto our piece of footage you can kind of see echoes forming right there so awesome so what we want to do is we actually want to increase the number of echoes we have so um, I personally like five but you can go to as many as you want so as you can see once we up the number of echoes our footage brightens up so what we want to do is go ahead and go through the decay and bump that down so I personally like around 0.6 and so now you kind of have um, your footage back to normal so let's go ahead and see what that looks like so as you can see our ghost trails are coming together but to have more separation you want to adjust the echo time i like to go about 0.1 but you can adjust this and figure out what works best for you so let's go ahead and check out what we have right now so as you can see there's a lot of separation between these ghost trails so now it looks like we have a lot of motion going on which is exactly what we're looking for so if you come over here to your echo operator you can come over here to change the blend mode on how your footage will look so personally, I like add or screen. Screen kind of makes it look normal again, but add also gives it that nice glow look too. So it's up to you, it's personal preference. I like screen. And also we want to get that nice jittery effect that emulates the slow shutter effect. So we'll come back over here to our search bar. We'll go ahead and X that out. And then we're gonna go ahead and type in posterized time. I will go ahead and drag that onto our footage. As you can see, starting out our frame rate is in 24 frames. So for this effect, I like to go between six and 10 frames to get that nice slow shutter effect. Six to have six frames per second, and then you can go up to 10 to have 10 frames per second. So we'll go ahead and do just in between there. So we'll go eight. So I'll go ahead and render this so we can see what it looks like so you guys can know exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so let's go ahead and check out our slow shutter effect at the moment. So I'll start from the beginning. So as you can see, it has that nice chop effect where it's stuttering. And also you can see our ghost trails behind our subject. So it looks really awesome. And that's just with eight frames. So for a nice low shutter effect, you can go six frames. Now I'll go ahead and render this so I can show you guys exactly what that looks like as well. All right, so we're back, so let's check it out. So as you can see, it's skipping even more frames and adds for a nice dope effect. And one thing we can do to top this all off is we'll go ahead and go to our Lumetri color. And what you can do is you can mess with the curves to get the footage back to looking how it originally looked. So we'll go ahead and make a three point curve and then we'll go ahead and just drag the blacks down. So now our footage pretty much looks exactly how it did before. And one thing that I like to do is I like to come up to a basic correction and I like to adjust the temperature so you can add like a nice warmer look to your footage or you can do an even cooler look and you can mess with the tint as well to just get some dope colors out of your footage. You can even adjust the contrast or you can adjust the exposure, bring up the brightness 
or tone it down even more. And then again, we come back to our editing tab and we'll go over here to our effects panel. And I like to type in arithmetic. And I like to drag it on top of our footage. I'll go ahead and go to the operator and change it to max. And then what I like to do is go ahead and just up this red value. And then we have a nice red slow shutter effect. So I'll go ahead and render this and we'll be right back. All right, so we're back. So let's go ahead and check out our nice red shutter music video effect. So as you can see, as a new style to your video. And like I said, the footage being dark in itself adds for an even doper effect. So the possibilities with this effect are honestly endless. I'll show you a few unique ways to stylize these slow shutter presets for yourself. And if you don't want to create this effect yourself, I have a preset pack in the link in the description below. But that's it for this video, guys. So if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, comment down below what you guys want to see next, and I'm out. Peace.